Alright, third time's the charm, hopefully. And as I said, there's nothing charming about the goddamn third time. <laughs> well, if it works, it's gonna be charming. No. So, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our next series for Sibling Rivalry, Air Force Delta Strike. This is our third attempt at getting you people a half-decent recording on this, so appreciate the effort. You will appreciate the effort. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, short version, just some software issues and all that other fun crap for it that made the last few recordings garbage for you guys, so we didn't want to leave you with garbage. Well, I would have been content to, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris is a dick like that. Incidentally, Chris, remember, do not push start button. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. The other recordings are dead and gone. It never happened. Chris blew past some cutscenes in the previous attempt. Okay, as well. I can't press the start button then. Fine. <laughs> that's how we're doing this. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so obviously flight action game for Air Force Delta Strike. This one's an oldie from for uh, the PS2 uh, that has been a one that I rather enjoyed and another friend of ours uh, played fairly frequently as well. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, friend of ours actually would speed run this in the past. I was never quite that level for it, but... Well, it's kind of a cumbersome game to do that with. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd imagine I'd imagine a main category for for speed running this would actually probably be an already new game plus file. And yeah, incidentally, yes, we are going off a new game plus file for this because we are far too lazy and not really in the mood to be uh, balance or juggling aircraft and everything like that and balancing funds and all that Emergency. other stuff where you just want to actually Emergency. play through the game and show you guys the meat and potatoes of things. Yeah, like like all the cringe-worthy voice acting and uh, all the, uh, all the trophy characters. Well, actually, I'll admit for for are a game of its age, the tropes aren't too bad in this. I'd rather stay here. And, okay, here's my thing. You I don't heard. mind We've tropes so much. Uh, you even, either just the do them well or don't do them well. Exactly. The and Amelia perimeter. still looks stoned. No there matter how many times I, I think about it, she looks freaking stoned and it looks Can even worse else when go? you see her, her <laughs> full body shot later on. Because you go through ridiculous head tilt that every girl seems to get in selfies. And oh, 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 here comes the moment. Oh wait, yes, so we have to still need to be a um, Carry out all operational checks as quickly <laughs> this, as possible. This is also a game where uh, realism Adopt comes to die. <laughs> Far more than even Ace Combat Aileron ever did. This, this is one where it's like, the, hey, you know what? We're not, we're not doing the simulation Aileron thing, check. so oh, fuck it. We're just going to do whatever looks left. awesome. Well, at least Ace Next. Combat, the main Next. thing where realism dies is being on a few of the super weapons. Yes. Because Stonehenge isn't necessarily unrealistic. Rail cannons are kind of a very real thing that we're looking at. True. So, I mean, ultimately, where where Ace Combat kind of stops short on the realism mark is mostly for the flying fortresses. Yeah. I still love that she's having you go through all these checks and Chris is not touching a damn thing on the controller. She's still falling next. I know, right? That, that would really be something that you could uh, add into have the player actually going through that. Well, this is this is still back in the day where there was you know, there's expectations for players to read the manuals. Check. Launching. Good luck. <laughs> RTFMing is for noobs. <laughs> no, man. I am go for launch. Oh, man. Check. I still Good can't luck. get over this. I cannot get over this. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's it's this right coming. Hang on, Barb. Up. We're gonna make space trails. <laughs> Oh my lord, every time I see that, it's just, are you shitting me? So clearly our plane is Yuki Kaze. Um, I don't even think Yuki Kaze would have been that bad for because Yuki Kaze, when they, when they did the one point where it actually flipped around like that, it was still going like almost borderline supersonic. So then clearly our plane is a, is a VF. Uh, that'd be far too awesome. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Go after you don't the look invading good. Enemy <laughs> you really don't. You don't. <laughs> you have those glasses that just don't match with your face, and your face itself is just stoner. Right here, guys. Right here is proof that this game does not give a shit. <laughs> Aliens. Aliens. At least they hit you with it on the first mission. Yes, uh, like like right off the bat, it's it's the. Here's the expectation. <laughs> it's just like Yu-Gi-Oh. They they hit you with the supernatural High bullshit on like, the first confirmed. few episodes. Shockwave to follow. Yeah. So UFOs Region with near NV nuclear capabilities. Has been destroyed. 
All units, return fire. Make it quick. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, stoner. Yes, stoner. <laughs> <laughs> Six bandits at twelve o'clock. Angels twelve. They're ready to attack. Hurry. <laughs> this is just awful. Oh, What's yeah, going I on? Yes. I like overkill. No, Was that a nuclear reactor? Don't kill like it. Just a moment. We can't tell from our test. What if they have a lot more where that came from? We'd be in real trouble. I've been oh, hit. Man. I, just, I can't get over the voice. We've got to get those I'm sure we're not be talking about this, guys. We've just done this mission All so damn many times. Oh, my God. Can I bomb them? They're getting closer. Uh, we could try, but I don't know if we want to be restarting it from the first mission. I, that just looks kind of shameful. Don't care. You're going to try? <laughs> don't care. We're going to bomb. Uh, go fast, then. It'll bring the, uh... I think I'm going to pee my uh, pants! Rough, uh, marker up a bit. I can't let these goons get away with it. You're gonna want to kind of get getting close to them. No, I, I know. I'm gonna basically have to be right on top. And here comes Sergei Kinski, who served as inspiration for another character of ours, which when we sh uh, which uh, when we show his intro, yes. which will not be skipped, which will not be skipped. This takes so long. Because uh, your air brake is on. Enemy in gun range. Nice move. Never thought I'd be nope. He either missed or it just didn't work, so just fuck it. Just blow up on I want to blow on one. Uh, be sure to get Sergei before anybody else does, too. The ACM doesn't come with instruction. Where is he? Uh, uh, hit, uh, up or down on the B-pad. Please, excuse me. Yeah, but I can't see you. Kill those other targets really quickly. Whee! Not even against the yes, <laughs> No, I was pressing for my engine. Like, the other thing you can do too is you can do a quick cell tap, and uh, it'll it'll either go back or it'll go down. Come and get it. Right. Come to my library. They won't stand for you calling me an old fart. Ah, somebody has to call an old fart now. Yep. And I know who that somebody is. <laughs> down, down, down you go. Shut up, John. Don't be like this. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, hold Three enemy craft remaining. There he is. That should be him right there. That's on the first enemy target. Fox 2. Up a good line. Enemy in radar range. There he is. I was you, Kinski. And <laughs> he's got John on his six o'clock. I don't really want to shoot him down now. Well, I know. But enemy fighter down, John. <laughs> he's a dick. He is such a dick. Somebody come up with some countermeasures. Rambo 400. Damn. What are we supposed to do God, with this This bad? does not turn like oh, Ace Combat. No, it's because you're what? not. Yeah. You, you want to be at around about 400 knots. That, that's optimum turn speed for. for I guess Hale does And it's actually, and funny enough, it's actually one thing they wind up using for this. No, it's more just because I'm accustomed to Ace Combat style of, of holding on and letting go for how I want to get my speed into sweet spot. Yeah. Me. You didn't underestimate John, don't worry. I want you to fuck his day up to be perfectly honest. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool with him getting shot down. Really, there wouldn't have been any hard feelings whatsoever with him. I can handle this by myself. Crow, stop screwing around and shoot this guy down. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle this myself. Shoot him down for me. <laughs> Hello, Falco. <laughs> Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> Oh god, at some point we need to just like dub in the Star Wolf game for a couple of seconds. <laughs> oh, I'm too lazy for that. But it'd be so awesome. I also don't want to incur copyright claim right now. Hi. Alright, get me a trumpet, we'll do it ourselves. Your mission is to attack the bombers and follow your orders. The bombers don't count in the final tally. Oh my god, you're a dick! <laughs> the bombers don't count! Well, neither do you if the entire place gets destroyed, moron! <laughs> that's that squashed the game. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, 
Good work out there. God, I want to punch him in the face. See, here's here's the worst part about this. Is most cases where we're playing as Delta, uh, or sorry, as um, uh, Third Element, we generally want to be playing as Ken. But by playing as Ken, it means John gets to talk. We play as John. We don't have to talk. They're ready to attack. Hurry. Oh my. Welcome, welcome to the conundrum. All right, fly he's, back. He's just such a. Oh yeah. I wish it would just select it. <laughs> All right. Uh, briefing room. Now, X button. Shut up, Chris. Shut up. <laughs> we pushed the X button. Shut up. I actually was trying to. I was actually just looking for the button to get rid of the uh, the text at the time. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, R two, I believe it is, to do that. Nope. R square. Nope. Uh, All right. Oh. Oh, it is R2, apparently. I just didn't press it hard enough. Wuss. Shut up, I'm used to the real triggers now. <laughs> I know. Too, too, too used to, to playing with the... Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> yes, yes, I love the flight suits in this. <laughs> then again, last I heard, Chris didn't have any complaints either. No, I still want John to go fucking die, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Bombers don't count in the final tally, and court-martialed. <laughs> really, it's, it's one of those, like, how are you still a pilot? Yeah. Oh, hey, she does have expressions. <laughs> oh, God, she does! But she's also half-ginger. <laughs> she's half-ginger. <laughs> half-ginger is still no soul. <laughs> <laughs> half-ginger is, half no, is still half of no soul, and since zero divided by two is still zero, well... <laughs> <laughs> You may as well still just not be a person. <laughs> oh, hey, she does ditch the stoner face. Oh, God, but she still has heavy head syndrome. <laughs> yes. Well, that just seems to be the case. Like, everybody seems to have, like, that one generic pose, and then they just, like, shift their facial expressions on it. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 uh duh! <laughs> 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 Ruth is just always kind of giving you a come hither look. Yes, <laughs> and I'm okay with that as long as she's willing to make good on it afterwards. No. Uh, you should be able to, while the text is popping up, you can usually hit X a second time and it'll like yeah. fill the, the box in. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to like let people get some chance to read. I know we're not, <laughs> but I know how irritating it is to have to pause and then unpause and then pause and then unpause. Too bad. Too bad. You're just a dick. You're no better than John. <laughs> I am most certainly better than John. You are I can not... At, I can at least shoot down my targets. <laughs> <laughs> you are not the person that Mr. Rogers knew you could grow up to be. That's hurtful, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have brought it on. <laughs> we arrived on this runway. <laughs> Oh god, you are a stoner. Oh god, look at her face. <laughs> I'm so sad. I fail at life. Could you show us another spot? Nah. <laughs> oh god. Amelia, your parents, they shouldn't have shared needles. <laughs> My terrible person. Your mom was still drinking at the time when she had you, wasn't she? <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh, I, I, I fear for where we're going to get at for later on in this game. I look forward to it. <laughs> so incidentally, yes, folks, we're going to be doing this in the rate of about one mission plus whatever follow-up story comes after said mission. Because there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> unlike, unlike Ace Combat, which does, some, which does it in fun and interesting ways, it's just all talking. Which is okay in some scenarios, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, truth be told, I really don't mind it, but obviously it's a, not terribly inter it, interesting right this second. It's not aged very well compared to how Front Mission did this style. Yeah. Front Mission did this style very well on top of having the hacker bits in I, I, I think the main thing I would say for it is it's, it's the issue of... Um, with this being a, an action game for it, there's a bigger expectation to deliver more plot during the course of the actual mission, as opposed to doing a lot of exposition in between. Yeah. 
Ah, yes, and here we go to the evil side, complete with evil boardroom. And there's Sergei Kinski, a man so massive, even his chest hair cannot be constrained by his flight suit. <laughs> like, just, that that's ridiculous. He doesn't have a triangle or hourglass shape. He is just a square. He is a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's more of a rhombus. <laughs> like... You look tired, Commander. <laughs> now, yeah, so so get, take away the, the text thing for a second here. I will. <laughs> <laughs> like, follow the line on that, people. Seriously. Is he wearing a garter belt? I'll actually, it's part of a G-suit. I know, but God damn I, it. Like, how do you squeeze in there? there is, this, is there like a, a shoehorn or something that they use? <laughs> oh, God. This full-body lubed-up body shoehorn is... <laughs> 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 Lunch Lady Doris, you got any grease? <laughs> yes. And grease me up, woman! <laughs> uh, there's nearly a pilot who can outrun a grease Scotsman. <laughs> well, greased Russian in this case. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's a shame that I don't think he ever takes off the helmet. I, I can't remember if there's a shot I'm of him. I'm pretty sure the that's because the helmet had to be welded to his head. <laughs> we had to just kind of stick his head in the in the mold <laughs> and let it happen. <laughs> that's the only way it was going to work. And then he just kind of he leaked. actually he actually can't get out of that flight suit. <laughs> it it <laughs> stinks to high heaven in there. And he car he carved out the section for the for the for the glass visor with his teeth. <laughs> The funny thing is, is that outside of, outside of uh, obviously the artistic license of being like equal equal opportunity fan service for for the way these flight suits are done, there is actual rationale for the style that they're in. Uh, like the their suits are, are geared for doing high or very high altitude flying. Uh, oh yes, <laughs> we've got this guy, the base commander, who's Sir, too laid back. C commander Barrel Chest. Commander Barrel Chest. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Uh, so the flight suits are, are, are geared for, for doing very high altitude flying. Those actually are a pressure suit, but as opposed to a pressure suit like what you have with the regular astronaut space where you have a lot of heavy stuff that makes it very difficult to move in, those flight suits actually put the necessary pressure on your body by using actual constrictive force instead. All I got out of that was techno babble. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. Alright, so that's it for, I guess, for this episode for the time being. Uh, Chris can go ahead and save for the moment. Game data save. And yeah, so we're going to try to, we're going to try to keep these as short as we reasonably can. Um, some, some of the missions afterwards will run with a decent chunk of narrative, so we'll do what we can here for you guys. Um, usual for this stuff, so, uh. Let us know what you think so far about what you think about our, the introduction of our first two rogues. Incidentally, Albert will be our bitch for the rest of this series. <laughs> ah, I can't wait. So, if all of you watched to the end of this point as well, aside from being sure to like, comment, and subscribe, put in douchebag in your comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, John is a douchebag. No, 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 just one word, just douchebag. Why douchebag? Because they'll get it. That's <laughs> the point. Get they'll, they'll get it if they if they've watched to this point. All right. All right, so uh, we'll see you guys back again soon without a, without, <laughs> without without John without John yes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys back again soon with another episode.